to give you a general overview, um, this is a 24 volt system, uh, two 12 volt batteries send power to this controller. Uh, this is the radio receiver, so the radio will tell this device how much power to send to either of the two motors and send a variable voltage to turn the left or the right motor. This is the radio receiver and you can see a couple of black and white leads coming from the motor controller. They're plugged into two slots, one elevation and one aileron. These wires are both labeled so that you know which goes into which slot. This thing over here is a electronic circuit called a BEC or battery elimination circuit and takes 12 volt battery uh, power from this battery and sends it through this servo wire to the RC receiver. Uh, the switch labeled on off controls this, sends power to the receiver and so when you throw the on off switch you'll see this thing light up. Uh, the BEC also has an LED which will light up. There are two channels on this robot. Uh, each of them are protected by a 60 amp fuse. So if the robot's not working, I would first check to see if this fuse is blown and replace it with a 60 amp fuse. This is the underside of the robot and you can see the two motors, the, the right and the left motor. They're connected to the gearboxes which in turn drive this shaft and turn the wheels. You also can see a series of wires this one is from the recharge port and comes back and is connected to 24 volts. If you convert this to 12 volts, you'll have to change these leads to one battery or the other. Also, you can see these black and white wires coming from the motors and they go up into the motor controller. They're labeled left and right. Back here you can see the emergency cutoff switch and the on-off switch. To start up the robot, you simply turn on your radio and then you throw this switch to the on position, insert the red key and turn it clockwise until it clicks. Then you're ready to go using just this stick. You can control the movement of the robot forward, back, left and right. This robot is two wheel drive and uses what we call differential drive. Uh, the battery is powering the motor controller which sends a signal a uh, certain voltage to either the left or the right motor and by changing the power ratio you can change the speed and direction of either, either wheel independently. Uh, they are mixed inside the motor controller and then sent to the right stick on the radio so to move the robot forward you would simply slide the right stick forward backward, bring it back left and right. And the steering is very uh, sensitive so just move the stick a uh, very little bit. To shut off the robot you simply throw this small switch to the off position and disable the emergency shutoff by turning the key counterclockwise to the left and removing it. And then it's safe to turn off your radio. This robot has an emergency shutoff, and so if you run into a problem, you can quickly turn this key, pull it out, and disconnect all the power to the robot. If the robot's not working, it may be out of battery juice, in which case you can check the battery terminals with a voltmeter. And if it needs recharging, you simply use the included recharger. This is a 24 volt charger that plugs into household current. And the other end looks like this with a little notch at the bottom plugs into the 24 volt recharge port like so. So when it's charging you'll see a red light here and when it's full it'll change to green. This robot is wired up in series uh, using two 12 volt batteries creating a 24 volt system. You can also convert this to a 12 volt system simply by removing this series jumper and cross-wiring these two batteries positive to positive, negative to negative and create a 12 volt system with increased runtime. You can change the wheel diameter of this robot simply by lifting it up, inserting a 4x4 that frees up the wheel 
And then using a 3 16 Allen key like this, simply unscrew this screw. And then the wheel should slide right off. You can use an 8 inch diameter, a 10 inch, or a 12 inch wheel. And uh, you simply need a 3 quarter inch spindle. And it should have a keyway like this to fit this key. To convert this to autonomous, you would simply mount an Arduino or a similar control board here, uh, take out this receiver, and plug in these two wires to the control board or the Arduino, and send signals from your program through these wires to the motor controller.